Today is Friday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronald Reyes Partines, SVD, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, welcome to this Holy Mass celebration. Let us be conscious of God's presence in this Holy Mass. And let us put ourselves into His grace. May we receive healing, His peace, and His guidance. We also bring to this Mass all our intentions and all the intentions being entrusted to the diocesan shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. In a special way, we remember our confer SVD who died last night, Father Rick Dumas. He died of natural causes. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves in this celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His forgiveness, His compassion, and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are children of Israel. There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God, blessed forever. Amen. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wit, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. And the people there were observing him carefully. In front of him, there was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and Pharisees in reply, asking, Is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath or not? But they kept silent. So he took the man, and after he had healed him, dismissed him. Then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day, but they were unable to answer his question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, my intentions for you in this Holy Mass May the Lord's presence in this Holy Mass touch and heal you, heal your body, heal your mind, heal your emotions. In short, may the God of healing restores you, your entire being. By the way, ang root word po pala ng healing, ang kanyang etymology ay Helen from Old English, meaning to restore, to repair, to fix you. Second, to give you freedom. And third, to bring you back to sound health, meaning katinoan. So it has a very broad meaning, not only physical healing. I mention the word healing because that's specifically the core topic for today. In God, through Jesus, He seek to give healing to everyone. That's why He came, to add value to our lives. Ang Diyos na ating sinasampalatayaan, ang ating, the one we worship in this Holy Mass, that's why you are here. And many people around the world, through, on, through online Mass, ngayon, we are here, we gather in Jesus because we acknowledge Him as the God who can give us healing. Healing to ourselves and to our family and to our nation. Sabi po sa gospel ngayon na ating binasa, 
pinagaling ni Jesus ang isang lalaki na may sakit na tinatawag na dropsy. Ano ang dropsy? Namamaga ang katawan, yung mga tissues ay napaligiran ng tubig. I try to read, yung dropsy pala is because of a heart problem. Hindi na ilalabas ng kidney, so the water are stuck around the body or the tissue. And the Lord cured him even in Sabbath. Ang point po kasi dito, because ang number one priority ni Jesus is to save life. That's why kahit po Sabbath, He cured the sick man. God's priority is to heal us, to save you. Naalo ko tuloy yung kakilala ko. Hinimatay siya. Tapos, buti naman yung mga tao sa paligat niya pala, very alert. Yung may doktor pala doon sa kasama sila, dinadala siya, dinala siya sa hospital. Kasi yung kaibigan ko, nang nahimasmasa na, dinala pala siya sa mamahali na hospital. Papasok na sa buti, buti na, nagising siya eh. Bago pumasok doon sa pintuan, sabi niya doon sa, nagdala sa kanya, pede ano, Wag natin ituloy. Okay na ako. Okay na. Kasi iniisip niya, baka yung babayarin doon sa lunong hospital eh. Sabi naman ng doktor, ako nang bahala sa ano, pang, pang ibabayad natin sa emergency room. Basta ang mahalaga, maging okay ka. Ang tanong dito, there's an ethical question. Uh, is it against the will or consent of the person? Hindi na mo siya sa hospital. Kasi dapat pala may consent. Pero ang nangyara naman pala ay emergency case naman yun eh. Kasi nahimatay, di ba? Wala na siyang time tanungin. Gusto mo ba idala sa hospital? Kasi pala ang rule sa medical world, just in case emergency situation, at all cost dapat ka madala sa pinakamalapit na hospital. Di na tinatawag kung mahal o mura. Basta ang dapat mabuhay ka, that's the number one to. Kasi ang buhay kasi na pag nawala, di na babalik. At least ang pera, magagawa ng paraan. That's why precious is life for God. Yung po ang point ng lifting that idea, doon yung po ang point ko. The Father sent His Son not to condemn you immediate, primarily, but to save you, to extend your life, to save you, to heal you, to restore you. That's the priority of Jesus, to save you whatever your situation and problem, di na tinatanong na, makasalanan ba ito? Mabait ba ito? Di na po tinatanong, basta mahalaga muna ay magbigay ng kagalingan. So today, friends, as you are listening and being one this Holy Mass, wherever you find yourself right now, ano man mga pinagdaanan natin ngayon, o iniisip, o dinadala sa kaloob-kalooban, you are being called by God in this Holy Mass to come to Him and be assured that you are His number one priority. He cares for you. He wants to restore you. He wants to give you freedom and to bring back wellness to you and to your entire family. As we proceed further in this reflection, allow me to give you two clarifications about the mystery of God's healing power. These are practical clarification. Una, narinig nyo ba yung karnimehan na tinatawag na healing mass or healing priest, di ba? Before the pandemic, sikat po yan, healing mass. They adver advertise it and people flock to some priest because thou this priest is healing priest. Una muna, let us be clear. Lahat naman po ng Misa being celebrated are healing masses. So sana yung mga ano, parokya, do not give, kasi para din na po maistress yung mga tao. Di na pupunta dito sa lugar, kasi pala pupunta doon, kasi healing mass doon. Kahit sa naman luklok ng mundo, as long as the mass is valid, it has what you call efficacious value. The mass has the same effect. That is to bring Jesus, the healer. Pangalawa naman, paano naman yung healing priest? As far as I know, wala po ko alam na ang obispo nagbibigay ng official title to a certain priest 
that he is a healing priest. Ang alam ko lang, nagbibigay ang simbahan sa isang pari ng card o title na exorcist. I met yung, binisit namin yung kaibigan namin yung pari sa Aklan before the pandemic. Then pinakita niya sa akin yung ID and a letter given by the, his bishop para to give him the official title as the exorcist of the diocese. Pero wala pa ako nakita na healing, healing priest na may ID. Bakit po pala? Kasi the church do not give such title or office. Kasi it's only Jesus who can heal. And the task of the priest is to bring Jesus to his people. At para po sa pangkalahatan na turo ng simbahan, always remember, the source and origin of all healing power is God the Father. Tapos, kaya nga ang tawag naman kay Jesus ay Messiah or the Christ kasi siya yung pinili sa kanya ipinagkatiwala yung kapangyarihan ng Ama. Jesus is the one anointed ang magdadala. At si Jesus naman, pinagkatiwala itong kapangyarihan ng magpagaling sa simbahan sa pamagitan ng banal na spirito. Kaya nga po, dumadaloy ang healing power is through the church in His sacrament. Sa mga sakramento, sa binyag. Kaya kung may mga anak po kayo, kahit pandemic, idala nyo na po sa mga simbahan para mabinigan na kaagad. Baptism can heal. Pangalawa, huwag kayong matakot magkumpisal kasi sacrament can heal. Jesus is present the sacrament. Or yung kumpil, huwag yun hintayin na ikasal pa kayo kasi paano kung di kayo ikasal, di na kayo makumpilan. Ah, kumpil, restrentance our faith para pag may dumating na mga problema, matibay. O yung Misa, the Holy Mass, o yung paglalahid ng langis, anointing of the sick. So the sacrament gives healing because the Holy Spirit is working to the power of Jesus Christ given by the Father. So next time na marinig nyo yung healing mass, healing priest, no, uh, that's a confusion. Di man siya mali, pero it's a confusion. Tell them, by the power of Jesus, I claim His healing power. Pangalawa naman, ngunit ano yung scope and extent ng healing? Kasi it's a broad word. We need to clarify this. Kasi pag sinabing healing, hindi lang po siya physical healing. It, 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 it extends to many areas. But God can grant physical healing according to His own wisdom and divine plan. Pero allow me to give you three areas where God can also give healing. Una, the Lord primarily came into this world to bring healing to each one's life sa buhay mismo, buhay ng bawat isa, at buhay ng pamilya. God came not just only to bring healing to a certain person, but to the entire family. Sa mga sinarista nandito ngayon sa loob ng simbahan, so may, the, may your family be blessed with healing. Kasi when a family is sound, the person is sound, that's why work it out just in case there's a misunderstanding family. That's why yung call for repentance and forgiveness not only to you, but to the entire family, to forgive one another. That understanding may rule. That charity may rule. So sa mga nakikinig din po ngayon, look at your family. Ask the Lord to root out anger, misunderstanding. Pangalawa naman, healing also can come to us when God bring peace to our lives. Ano yung kapayapaan? Kapayapaan. So may, 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 may the Lord fill you with His peace, give you order and stability. Sabi doon sa nabasa kong quotation, we can have more peace in our life first by never hate. So do not hate. Kasi all the more if you hate, you are just pushing the button that you will boil yourself boiling. Pangalawa, we can increase peace in our lives by living simply. So, restructure, simplify your lifestyle, your goals and expectations. 
to lessen also your worry. Or we can also experience more peace if we worry less, if we pray more, and if we love much. And third po pala, area we can also find healing is when we accept acceptance. Acceptance of some things we cannot control in our lives or surrendering to God's will. As a closing story, naalala ko po yung nabasa kong kwento ng isang pari sa Daily Bible Guide ng SVD, ang title ay Word in Other Words. Ang kwento ng pari na ito, yung first niya pag-visit doon sa kanyang kaibigan, laying on the bed, kasi just diagnosed of cancer, yung first visit niya, that her friend, ay, yung kanyang kaibigan ay rattle na la rattle, nagpapanik, ang shoes filled with anger, bakit siya nagkasakit, Alam niyo naman kasi ang cancer, di mo alam if it's reversible or not. Para yung isang kapaamo nasa hoping for sickness, ay hoping for healing. Yung isang paa naman, alam mo na baka ito na yung oras mo. So, she was anxious, panicking, and fearful. And the priest consoled him. Ngayon, yung next time pag-visit ng pari doon, sabi niya, it was a big miracle kasi sabi niya, ano yung kanyang kaibigan was completely different. There was a turning point. She was now filled with strength, filled with peace, filled with acceptance, and readiness, whatever happens. And you know the secret, what, what made it different? Because yung kaibigan niya surrendered everything to the Lord. And she, there's an assurance to her that God is always at her side no matter what. So God bless everyone. May the Lord bless you with His healing love and His presence. We now stand for the prayer of the faithful. Let us pray to God our Father who has called us all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors of the freedom from sin and evil. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandments of loving one another. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the true spirit of charity in dealing with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may see Christ in them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those in the hospitals may be healed of their infirmities. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in peace in the company of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also lift up to the Lord all the prayer intentions and requests sent to the Daisyson Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. And in silence, we also bring to the Father our other intentions. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we proclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let us pause for a while and remember our relatives and friends who have gone ahead of us. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Arnold Jansen and St. Joseph Reinademitz, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan ating Panginoon Diyos ay laging sumayin nyo. At sumayin rin. Let us offer and share to one another the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. And those in YouTube and Facebook right now, peace to all of you and all the members of your family. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One, to give healing and salvation to all of us. Behold Him, because He takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called <clears throat> to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that is disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country, the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, 
do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Una muna, about po sa schedule ng ano namin, Undas, mag-start po pala mag-flash ang simbahan ng Intentions for the Dead na October 31, that's Sunday. So, ngayon pong darit na nalinggo, simula alas 8 ng umaga, pata rin po sa 4pm. Tapos naman sa lunes, November 1, may lima pong misa sa simbahan namin na will be also live stream online. Magsimula ng 6.30, alas 8 na umaga, alas 10, alas 12, at alas 6 ng gabi. Same schedule po ng November 2. Tapos, sa gusto pong magpamisa sa mga namayapa, kung malapit po kayo dito sa Quezon City, punta lang po kayo sa Christ the King Seminary sa Dyson Shrine to give your intentions. But if you are malayo na or nasa ibang lugar, nasa ibang bansa, uh, we have an online link system para maging accessible po sa inyo. Una, meron kaming ano yung bit.ly. Just type on your screen www.bit.ly Shrine Intentions. Or if you cannot access it, pwede nyo pong ipadala yung padasal ninyo sa aming pong Facebook Messenger. Ang name po ng aming Facebook ay The Easy Sun Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. At meron po kaming email system the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word at gmail.com At pangatlo, on your screen, nalabas din po dyan yung pangalan ng social media channel where you can access daily morning prayers and in inspiring quotation to help you guide and direct your way. So that's all. Once again, thank you so much for being part of the Daisy Sun Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. See you in the next days to come. God bless your family always. Magsitayo po tayo for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been celebrated and offered. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.
May gusto ka bang sabihin sa simbahan? Aba, ito na ang pagkakataon mo. First time na inanyayahan pa yung makibahagi sa Synod of Bishops. Gaganapin ito sa 2023. Subalit dalawang taon ang paghahanda para dito dahil malawak ang paanyaya ng Santo Papa sa buong mundo. Isipin mo to, layunin niya na imulat sa atin ang pagiging Synodal Church, ang sama-samang paglalakbay natin bilang simbahan, nagkakabuklod, nakikibahagi, nagmimisyon. Lahat kasama, kasali at kasalo. Maging hindi katoliko. Pambihira ito, di ba? Lahat naman talaga tayo ay kabahagi sa plano ng Diyos. Noong October 2, pinangunahan ni Bishop Onesto ang Tioko ang paglulunsad natin ng Diocesan Synodal Consultation. Hinimok niya tayong sumama at makilahok. Sa ngayon, isinasagawa na ang consultation sa mga parokya. Alamin lang ang parokyang nakasasakop sa iyong lugar at makipag-ugnayan dito. Simple lang ang gagawin mo sa consultation. May mga grupo kang sasamahan, maaring online o face-to-face. Makikipagkwentuhan ka lang. May mga tanong sa bawat paksang pag-uusapan. Gabay ito sa pagbabahagi ng iyong saloobin o karanasan. Simple lang, di ba? Pero kahit simple, may nakamamang ka dito. Alam mo kung ano yun? Dahil magsasalita sa iyo ang Espiritu Santo, gayon din sa mga kagrupo mo. Ito'y pambihirang biyaya na tinanggap natin sa binyag. Hayaan mo siyang magsalita. Makinig ka. O, oh, hindi ba't napaka-amazing ng kwentuhan? Akala mo siguro focus group discussion itong sasamahan mo, no? Hindi. Tawagin natin itong kwentuhan sa Espiritu Santo. Ito'y isang discernment process na ang banal na espiritu ang gumagabay at nagtuturo sa marami ninyong pag-uusapan. Ganito ang Synodal Consultation, Puspos ng Espiritu Santo. Para itong isang Pentecost event kung saan ang Espiritu Santo'y nagpamalas ng kapangyarihan sa mga alagad. Ang nakamamanghang karanasang ito ang nagbunsod sa kanila na mangaral at simulan ang misyon ng simbahan. Ito ang layunin ng Synodal Consultation, not to produce documents but to plant dreams, draw forth prophecies and visions, allow hope to flourish, inspire trust, bind up wounds, weave relationships, awaken a dawn of hope, learn from one another, and create a bright resourcefulness that will enlighten minds, warm hearts, and give strength to our hands. Tara na sa parokya, makipagkwentuhan ka. Kubaw tayo, sama-samang nangangarap para sa ating simbahan.